heart to heart, we're all for love. Hmm. It is truly an honor to be here, serving your evolution and supporting the ascension of our humanity. On this time together, I wanted to pose a very interesting question. Perhaps one of the most powerful questions you can dare to ask yourself. Now I'm going to pose the question and then we can start to unpack it. So here's the question I would love for you to ask yourself before we really take a moment to explore. With no judgment towards self, only being willing to look within the subjective nature of our own behavior and motivations to deepen our connection with spirit, to surrender deeper into unconditional love. Have you ever asked yourself the question, have I in any way become the characteristics of someone who hurt me? Have I in any way become or acted out the characteristics of someone who hurt me? They say hurt people hurt people. And I'd like to add on to that beautiful statement that although hurt people hurt people, free people, free people. And it is my intention and honor and joy to help offer you a greater dive, a deeper dive into the heart of true liberation so that you can be part of the free people who free people. Instead of us living on a planet where hurt people continue to hurt people. And so let's ask ourselves the question, have you in any way become the characteristics or have acted out the ways in which others have hurt you? And if we take last night as an example, as I was at home watching the Oscars, like many of you were, or maybe you just saw a clip online of what had happened. And what I was particularly interested with is at the end of the Oscars when Will Smith received his Oscar for Best Actor. And he was so openly talking about <clears throat> the abuses that he as an actor or other actors go through in the industry. And yet, while talking about abuses, this was moments after Will Smith physically striking Chris Rock. And of course, there was an apology to the Academy, hoping to get invited back to the Oscars. And yet, not a direct apology to the person he hit. And I'm not using this time to condemn anyone. Because my role is not to condemn a human being. My opportunity with you is to help us use everything in our reality as a chance to become better human beings than we've ever been before. Better than we were a moment ago, better than we were yesterday, and more importantly with the question you're asking yourself, daring to become a higher version than the people who have hurt you in your life. And so let's take a deep dive <clears throat> and really unpack this. In the name of bringing greater peace to our world, restoring our humanity into a place in which we can learn to be aware of our feelings and being conscious enough to choose how to express our behavior in a way that matches our ethics and ideals instead of hiding our wounds in the innocent bodies of others. Have you in any way become the characteristics of those who have hurt you? And let's just take this step by step. And of course, we'll do a clearing and we'll use this as a moment of transformation. And let's start with the most obvious place this might occur. Are you in any way speaking to yourself in a way that matches 
the way those who hurt you spoke to you. <clears throat> Have the neglects, wounds, and traumas of your past experiences with others been stored inside your consciousness to now live as an inner critic to keep the abuse and neglect and mistreatment circulating and spiraling in your subconscious? Is the way you're speaking to yourself more like or unlike how those who have talked down to you? Is the way that you speak to yourself more like or unlike those who have disparaged, overlooked, even ignored you? Is the way you speak to yourself more like or unlike how those you felt criticized by? Just take a moment and ask yourself this question. Again, we ask questions and then we follow up with transformation to help heal on a cellular level so that we can exit this moment together greater than we've ever been, more conscious than we've ever been, and more of a solution to what the world is transforming instead of an echo of the problems here to be resolved. Next question to ask yourself, <clears throat> is the way I treat others, whether it's all people, only people at my work, people that I have not put into the category of I know you personally and intimately, or maybe somehow the way you find yourself treating your children or intimate partner is the way I treat others or even one other more like or unlike how those who have mistreated me. Take a moment. We don't have to be embarrassed. Judging ourselves is not going to make us better. Let us use this as a moment to turn inward <clears throat> and face our behavior and face the truth of waking up to being conscious of our conduct. Because what it means to be a conscious being on this planet, and again, I say this with love because all beings are on their own journey of becoming conscious. Even those of us who are conscious, we are always in a journey of becoming more conscious. So we are all equally accountable for our own behavior. And what it means to be conscious is to feel our emotions, recognize when we're being triggered, to recognize what the message is sending us. Sometimes it's a healing taking place. Sometimes it's a reminder of areas of our life of great imbalance. But as conscious beings, we can actually separate how we are feeling from how we respond even in our most heated moments. Otherwise, we are just blaming others for how we act while standing in the presence of another person who might be pointing their finger at us that we point at them. So this is not about calling yourself out. This is about turning towards yourself. And with the utmost love, can you say right now, like a repeat after me? I acknowledge any of the ways I may treat myself and others as reflections how, of, how others have mistreated me. Just feel that. I acknowledge all the ways, no matter how often or infrequent, 
I treat myself and others. The way I have been mistreated. And in order to break the cycle of abuse and neglect, I allow myself to be forgiven. I can say I forgive myself if I can go there. But saying I forgive myself is often how the ego tries to be in charge of forgiveness. When I say, <laughs> I allow myself to be forgiven. I hope we're all saying these words because they're very powerful. I'm inviting the universe to work through me. Allowing the higher force and higher power, higher light and higher consciousness I am. to do the forgiving for me. Where all I have to do is be worthy enough to receive it. And even if actions that I've done seem unforgivable to me, I ask the universe to forgive me on my behalf. Please offer me the forgiveness I require. Because the greater wisdom is that forgiveness frees a human being from acting out their pain. So to be an inspiration to others and not a perpetuation of a hurtful past. So in this moment, not a matter if I forgive or can forgive those who have hurt me. Forgiveness starts within by asking the universe to enter my field, my mind, body, heart and soul and ego and offer me the grace of forgiveness that allows me to heal treat myself with kindness and interact with others from a space of respect. No matter how others choose to be. Please universe help me forgive myself now. so the world can be a safer place to be. May peace prevail on earth. And may it begin with me. Feel that. Feel that for a moment. Can you feel the openness? Can you feel the relief? It's okay.
It's going to be okay. Love is here with you every step of the way. And another question you can ask that leads to another clearing I want to offer you, or a moment of healing, is maybe from your past you were so traumatized, and it's okay if you were. Sometimes we sometimes think that Admitting to be traumatized means we allow the despicable actions of characters to have something over us. And an attempt for our ego to try to be in charge of taking back your power. We sometimes refuse to admit how traumatized we are by the things that have happened. And I just want to let you know before we move on to this next part that it's okay if you feel traumatized. It doesn't make you weak. It doesn't make you less than, it doesn't make you low vibration, and it doesn't mean that you haven't risen above the planet to be a spiritual being. Because being a spiritual being is about bringing the light of your spirit into the domain of personal reality. So being a person is a crucial part in the evolution of spirit. You may not be a person as long as you've been a spirit and the personal journey comes and goes. But there's a reason why spirit is in human form and you are embarking on a journey of transforming the character you play as a person by allowing it to be a vessel for your spirit to shine. And there is no greater way to shine as the spirit you are than to dive deeply into the healing of yourself so that the way in which you speak to yourself and treat others is reflective of how far you've come so that more freed people free people instead of more hurt people hurting people. And another question you can ask, are you in any way acting out the characteristics of the ones you've seen be hurt by others? Sometimes we witness in our families of origin, emotional abuse, physical abuse, and sometimes subconsciously that creates this idea that, oh, this character, whether representing the masculine, this character gets all that they want. They have all the power by acting like this. And that's how some people learn to behave that way. Oh, this is how I get my needs met. This is how I'm always right. This is how I avoid being abused like I saw other people being abused. I don't want to be the weak one. And sometimes we identify with the one being hurt with so much love for the one being suppressed and marginalized that we then wind up playing out and acting out the same character of those we saw being hurt by others. And so to eliminate and to transmute and to heal and resolve either archetype of abuser or abused, please repeat after me. I allow all archetypes of the abuser and the abused and all cellular memory of abuse, neglect, trauma, Racism, marginalization, oppression, cruelty, misconduct, manipulation, heartbreak, loss, unprocessed grief, guilt and shame, vengeance and retribution. Throughout all lineages of ancestry, including conflict, neglect, narcissistic patterning, passive aggressive behavior, codependency, enmeshment. 
and all the energies I've empathed, replicated, and identified with. Either from witnessing or being the abused, or from my abusers. All cleared out of my energy field once and for all. Return to the source of its origin. Transmuted completely. And heal to completion now. And from this moment forward, may I invite the universe to work through me. to offer forgiveness on my behalf. To make me one of the free people who free people. Helping me to speak to myself, respond to others, and engage with life in acknowledgement of the divinity within all things. Knowing the behavior of any being is showing me their journey and not who they truly are underneath it all. And just because their spirit whose light is always higher than their behavior their behavior is showing me who to bring closer into my life and who to have boundaries with as I ask myself the question, is this person acting in a way that mirrors the person I wish to become? May I spend the most intimate time with those I wish to be more like. Even if spending time alone, learning to be more like the me I'm getting to know. There's a lot in this transmission. And I'm here today with you because we're all in this together. And before we get to the part of the world needing us, you need you. And I'm here to help put you on your side. You need you to become who you are destined to be. And you have so much help and support from the universe. And in this moment, I am merely a manifestation of that support. I see you. I know you. I am you. And I love you. And this transmission helps us to truly deepen our relationship with ourselves so it can begin to radiate out and transform the relationships around us. Which is why on April 7th, next Thursday, I'm doing a Together as One interactive group workshop where the theme is intimacy and relationships. And I have a teaching on intimacy and relationships that will absolutely transform the ground of how you treat yourself and connect with others. 
And if you are ready to learn about relationships and transform intimacy into a conscious, heart-centered expression of maturity, yes, we'll probably talk about sex next Thursday, <laughs> but with maturity, with love, with tenderness, and with respect. If you're ready to heal emotional wounds, heal the blockages that prevent intimacy and learn how to feel and receive pleasure and fulfillment, even within yourself as a light being of spirit. Please join us next Thursday for Together as One. There's a link in the description. We'll probably put a link in the video as well. In this moment, you are less like your hurtful past and more like the light that dwells within you. Let it motivate and inspire you to treat yourself well. Be respectful to others and to walk softly upon the planet as a way of demonstrating the vow to do no harm and only spread our light to bring more light, love, peace, joy, and unity to our awakening planet. I am Matt Khan. I am here with you. And as certain levels of consciousness open up, I'm here as you. I look forward to seeing you next Thursday. All my love sent your way. Namaste. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell button for more All for Love updates. Mm -hmm.